Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we're going to be going over how to actually put our mods using the uh, new tool that they have. We're going to put it on the Steam Workshop so that other people can actually view it. Uh, this took me a good minute to figure out because there's no videos out there. There's just documentation for it. But let's get into this real quick. When you start, the, when you start the uh, tool, you won't actually have these. These are only now that I know how to do it. So you're gonna want to configure. You want to add your uh, folder path. I recommend uh, making a custom folder. You have to make a custom folder that way. Anything in there, you have separate folders for each mod that you upload, because otherwise, it's not really gonna work out that well. So we select the mod folder for that then let's create a new one so we're gonna pretty much recreate what I have already but we're gonna create it a second time so this time for the mod folder we're gonna be going specifically for the map that we're doing so the arc so uh, we're just gonna call this uh, the arc We'll call it alpha edit. Um, I'm not gonna focus too much on the description. Um, this is the mod description on the Steam Workshop. So we're just gonna do that. Um, you can. This is the version example. We can just put one, or we can put O1. It really doesn't matter. Game title. It says optional but you really do kind of need that so we're gonna do halo 3 for this tutorial we're gonna focus on the campaign so we'll call it the arc well yeah the, the arc description campaign okay so with that we can add our our missions in and we're gonna start off so for the campaign mission we're gonna call it the arc uh, uh, new campaign just for the arc mission we'll do that so this is if you were uploading more than one you could do it like that I presume at least um, so it's already in there so I already have this over here so we're going to call this uh, the arc revamped alpha version campaign description of specific mission. Okay, scenario file name. Now this is very specific, similar to how you would uh, hit uh, when you would build the cache, you need to make sure that, um, oh, I'm not even in the file, right? Uh, so the arc, and then what you're going to want to do is you want to have maps backslash 070 waste or whatever it would be called. So we're going to do maps backslash 070 waste. All right, so these, obviously, it's pretty much as it says. Uh, the thumbnail image would be kind of meant to be a smaller one. Uh, large image, and then image for the loading screen. This, I really am happy about. But temporarily, we're just going to use the same image because I only really got one. So we're going to do that. Well, for the thumbnail, we'll do this one. Then this one, we're going to do that. Yes. We're still gonna accept that it does have an actual uh, max file size so keep that in mind when you do this um, campaign map we're gonna allow save uh, saved films so people can actually go back to it insertion points this is very important for missions so going into your actual mission file here it is when you start up if the game insertion point is there, it pretty much tells each one what to do. 
and these are your checkpoints your uh, rally point alpha bravo charlie whatever you whichever it is however many there are so i'm only gonna put one in here for now you can always put more in and have it more like an actual mission actually uh, there's no real point in not doing it so we'll just do rally alpha hit them hard we're just gonna uh, add another one let's uh save that add another one um, rally bravo these usually are pretty self-explanatory um, hit them harder <laughs> we're just gonna do that for the meme uh save all and we're gonna add rally point crap well actually it did okay rally do i have it called oh yeah i'm just gonna call it rally charlie charlie it on not so harder and this one will be two and we can do save all okay just in case so all the details are in there we have our rally points we have all of that set and then let's see that sh this is really what's going to make or break it when i first did this i didn't actually understand what this was supposed to be and because i didn't know what it was supposed to be when i tried to refresh it on the home screen it wasn't actually there and uh yeah i'll leave a um i'm gonna leave the uh docs in the description for anyone who wants to visit and view those because those are very helpful uh this may or may not work for all the other ones but i know that it worked for me for this uh yes you want to close all associated tabs okay i wonder if it's the only one that's on here um yeah okay so it just kind of redid mine then okay so i already had one in there but we're gonna double check to make sure new campaign just for the arc mission we're gonna edit so we have that C campaign description of mission all that stuff we have the rally points and that's how i know that it's new because i did not put either of those for my uh test upload so now that you have that we're gonna hit upload yes we would like to close all tabs um this is kind of double checking to make sure that you know what it is um make sure that you have your thumbnail it only has a one megabyte limit so uh, make sure you size up your images for that appropriately uh, we're gonna upload new item might take a minute okay so now that it's actually done uploading um, I guess it's gonna be temporarily hidden um, I'm not honestly too sure about this stuff because I just started doing this today and I figured I would give you guys some uh, information so the arc alpha edit uh, this is my description on the Steam Workshop. Let's see if we can find anything else. Well, it doesn't look like we can find too much. Um, okay, I'm gonna... Okay, so you can add items if you want to. Uh, you can attach a YouTube video, add extra um, photos. But yeah, that's generally it. Let's uh, see if I can change it. I don't think I can. Oh, I can change it. Okay, so I mean, I just uploaded this, but you guys should be able to see this and uh, search for it just so you know that it was uploaded. Um, let's see. Okay. Let's 
cool, cool, cool. So that is pretty much it. I hope that that was a quick enough video for you guys. I kind of took a good minute to figure out how to actually get it to work, but hopefully this helped you guys out. I know there aren't really any videos out there discussing it, so I wanted to make sure there was one out there so anyone who's lost, like I was, isn't as lost. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy these videos. Uh, let me know if there's anything specific you want to try to see. Um, tune in for next time, because I'm going to continue doing some modern resource videos and some more tutorials. See you in the next one.